parent, all I can say is make sure every day to tell your kid you love them. Um, you never know when it might be the last time you get to do that. It was another emotional day for the Green Bay Preble High School community. The father of one of the two 16-year-old girls killed in a car crash visited the memorial site where the tragedy happened. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Two days after the Preble sophomores lost their lives, their classmates are continuing to honor their memory. Authorities say Paige Durain and Gabrielle Fritsch died after their car rolled into a creek. It happened just after school on Monday. Now, the crash took place at the intersection of Highway 57 and Church Road in the town of Scott. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz has more from the memorial. For the first time, the Durains walked as a family to the site where they lost their sister and daughter. It's pretty hard on her brothers, and, you know. It's just too bad. Bill Durain says it is unexplainable how difficult it has been losing his 16-year-old daughter, Paige. You know, this is every parent's worst nightmare. At the scene where Paige and her friend Gabby Fritch lost their lives, the Duranes are greeted by friends and a growing number of gifts and messages. As a parent, you always think your kid is special and um, you think, you know, everyone loves them and all this is just really supportive for the families as far as seeing how much the kids really did make an impact, Gabby and Paige. They're both unique. Um, I know they're loving and caring and every Every friend you wanted to have, they're, they're really nice. Caitlin Gersick says she and other classmates ate lunch at the memorial. She says everyone at Preble High School is helping each other cope with the tragedy. Just seeing them in the hall was a big thing, and now that they're not there, or not in your class, or not like next to your side is just horrible. It makes you thankful for what you have. We got 16 great years with two great young ladies, and that's what I got to be thankful for. Doreen says with the help of the Preble community, now it is just about remembering the good times with his daughter. I just hope everyone can remember what a great young lady she was, how she was all about helping other people. She had a smile that would brighten the room, and I think that's what we'll miss the most. Let's smile. In the town of Scott, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. And a joint visitation for Paige Duran and Gabrielle Fritch will be held Friday at the Proco Wall Funeral Home in Green Bay. The visitation is scheduled to go from 3 in the afternoon until 8 o'clock that night. Visitation will continue at 9.30 Saturday morning at the Prince of Peace Catholic Church in Bellevue. The funeral mass will then begin at 11 o'clock.